In this video, we're going to show off our tunnel as built custom reporting. So you can see here we have our tunnel design as well as our tunnel as built points. The first thing we have to do before doing any tunnel reporting is assign the tunnel as built points. This was covered in a previous video, so I'll just go through it quickly here. We're going to assign from the job file as these points were observed in triple access tunnels. You can go ahead and add the points. We want to have an open tunnel and we can just hit OK to apply that. So here we have our tunnel as built report command. Go ahead and click that and we get a drop down. We have our tunnel as built report as well as these other commands that are common with the other custom reporting commands already in TBC. If you're familiar with custom reporting then the tunnel as built is just an extension to that. So we can go ahead and click our tunnel as built report. We can see the UI here. Uh, we have our report template to start. In this case, we just have the default tunnel as built report. If you create any of your own custom reports, then they would populate in this field and you could select them. We also have the tunnel. Again, if we have multiple tunnels in a project, in this case, we only have the one. The tunnel shape, tunnel as built points are assigned to a station along with the shape. So you could have a case where you have different as built points assigned to different shapes. In this case, we just have the one. And we can see here we have the stations and the amount of points assigned. Um, this is the same as in our assign tunnel points command. We can just go back to that. We can see station 679 through 682. We have 48 points assigned. We have a begin station and end station dialog here. This defaults to the tunnel alignment. So this alignment goes from station 0 to station 872.29. We can change this if we only want to report a small section of the tunnel. One thing to note here is even though we have this going from station 0 to station 872 here right now, it'll only report on the stations that we've assigned points to. So we should only see stations 679 to 682 when we report. At the bottom here we have some tolerance settings. These will control which points are flagged as out of tolerance depending on the following values. Station tolerance, which is the distance along an alignment a point is away from a station. We have the overbreak tolerance, which is how far away a point is outside the tunnel. And we have the underbreak tolerance, which is how far a point is inside the tunnel. We can also choose to change the color that the overbreak and underbreak will be highlighted by. Um, the default is overbreak in blue and underbreak in red. We'll just leave that as is for now. And we can go ahead and hit apply once we're happy with all our options. Our report will generate and it will open up in Microsoft Word. This is a default tunnel as built report. You can see here we have an image of our tunnel geometry along with all the as built points. We have point IDs as well as underbreak or overbreak delta information. We have various information on the side related to the as built and the tunnel station. We can scroll down and we can see a point table related to the as built points shown in the previous drawing. We can scroll through and we can see here that we do in fact have the same four stations that we assigned our tunnel as built points to. As I said earlier, this is the default tunnel as built report. Next, we'll go back into TBC and we can see how we can create our own custom report.